What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new sneaker shopping vlog for the month of September. Today I will be showing you guys the best sneakers sitting at the mall right now. Particularly today, we're going to be looking at the Air Jordans and a couple of other Nike and Adidas sneakers, of course, for the back to school season. I'll share with you guys today's sneaker pickups at the end of the video, so make sure you guys stick around until then. One quick announcement before we get over to Yorkdale Mall and over to Fairview Mall, I just created a, uh, a TikTok. Yeah, I made a TikTok. If you guys want to follow me, it's at Sneaker Talk, no CA, just at Sneaker Talk. And uh, yeah, we're, we're having some fun over on there. I honestly didn't think I'd ever make a TikTok. But anyways, we'll be doing a PS4 and Yeezy giveaway later this week, so stay tuned. Let's get over to Yorkdale Mall in Toronto right now. So starting off at Yorkdale Mall, we'll check out the Nike wall first. We have a bunch of Nike Air Max 97s available. Some are retail price, like this gold pair, and then we also have some other ones on sale for 50% off. This is a new colorway too. It sort of has like this gray city camo to it, and then we also got of course some new air max 90s that just came out the sort of like mismatch uh kind of pack that they did not really feeling this mixture of camo and denim we also have the triple black air max 2090s for 25 percent off we have one of the og colorways for 50 percent off these are really clean and at a really good price point we got some classic nike cortezes here for 25 percent off we got the nike daybreaks in these beige and yellow colorway probably my favorite colorway of this shoe and here are the uh, the nike air force ones i mentioned earlier from that pack with the air max 90s I really just don't mess with this plaid camel denim mismatch. It's just way too much going on for me. And then here's a quick roundup of the Nike wall. Of course, a bunch of classic Nike Air Force Ones. And then we have the Nike basketball section with the Air More Up Tempos, the Olympics 2020. We also got this green and yellow pair of mids. Not really feeling this color combo. It's going to be a pass for me. On to the, uh, the real retros. We got the Air Jordan 5 Alternate Bell Airs. I'm a fan of these sneakers and I actually have a pair. I'm probably going to keep on ice for a while we also have the classic all-time classic fire red air jordan 5 these are easily one of the greatest air jordan 5s of all time i'm surprised these are still sitting months after the release we also got the brand new fire red denim threes i love these shoes man i love everything that they did with these i just wish i was in japan when these dropped so i could cop those those special japanese versions uh, of this sneaker but this has the nike air and the jump man on the back which is something we don't really see very often really clean jordan and i'm definitely gonna have to consider buying these next up for the adidas section here's a general look at a bunch of the adidas nmd r1s and r1 v2s a lot of sale tags right now we got the triple red nmd r1s for full retail price we also have the uh, the shibuya crossing or shibuya sneaker crossing nmd r1 v2 in the bread colorway i love 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 these nmd r1 v2 is probably one of my favorites that we also have these ones for 25 percent off not really feeling the uh, the mix of colors on these i believe these are the south korea nmd r1s from the city pack that they did these are pretty fire and they also had these uh, i believe beijing nmd r1s with the hits of red gold and black here's a look at some night joggers from the star wars collab that they did these are going for 50 dollars. that is such a great price point for these sneakers so if you don't have these yet already or if you really want to try out the night jogger this is a great colorway especially if you're on a tighter budget and then we got these adidas ultra boost they didn't really have too many ultra boost here but this is probably my favorite pair that they had sitting on the shelves it's kind of like triple white colorway and in terms of timberlands we actually saw these right here these are the celtic uh timberlands and these are trash i, I hate these the Celtics, you can go home. We, we don't want to see you anymore. Raptors, can you can you handle these guys already? Get rid of them. Just just get rid of them. All right, heading over to Champ Sports. We actually had to uh, bathe ourselves in hand sanitizer before we stepped inside, and there was a small lineup to get inside too. Here are the Nike Air Force Ones that stood out to me. They had this black and sort of like neon yellow colorway. The the accents of this like sort of yellow are really strange on the, the midsole and outsole, not something we're really used to seeing. Here's a look at their retro section. We got the brand new Air Jordan 12s. I think these are the indigo dyes and these are fire. I'm a huge, huge fan of these and I'm probably going to cop these uh, when they go on discount because they're not selling out surprisingly. They really are like, I don't know why they're not selling out because if these were released a few years ago, these would be an instant sellout. I love these things, but I've just been buying so many shoes lately that I really got to limit myself. You know what I mean? Next up, we have these right here, these Jordan 3. I uh, forget what the name for these ones are. Is it the Toro or the Unity? These really give me those Air Jordan Toro 4 vibes. I, I really like these, but they're still sitting and they're at every single store I go to pretty much. So I'm going to definitely wait for these to hit at least like 25% off and then these will be an instant cop. I like these a lot, but... 
I'm gonna just be patient. And then here is a quick little look at the uh, Adidas section of this Champs. They have a bunch of uh, NMD and NMDR1 V2s on sale for some pretty solid prices. Next up, we have the Puma section of Champ Sports, and these have got to be one of my favorite Puma RSX3s ever uh, to release. I'm a huge fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog ones. I have those pop up on screen right now, but these ones right here, these are from the Unity collection, and I love these. I love the color blocking on these. I love the colors that they use, the materials. They kind of give me these like Union 1 vibes from the Jordan and Union collab that happened earlier, but I really like this sneaker, and I'll probably buy these when they go on sale. Next up, we have the Puma RSX3 Sonic collaboration, and I literally just mentioned these a second ago. But yeah, these have got to be one of my favorite Puma RSX3 colorways to release. We also have this Oreo colorway on sale for $60 plus tax. Next are these triple black high top Puma RSXs. These are pretty dope, but uh, these are really, really high. Like these give a lot of ankle support. If you like the Puma RSX and you want to wear them for fall and winter, these are definitely a great option. After champs, we walked over to Foot Locker and unfortunately they were closed because uh, something happened there, but we did end up buying some sneakers from a meetup and the shoes did come in a Foot Locker bag. So we'll show you guys the Yeezy pickup at the end of the video. So next up, we're heading over to Fairview Mall to show you guys what they have there. We're gonna check out the Champ Sports, Nike, and Foot Action. Starting off with the Adidas section at Champ Sports, we have a couple pairs on sale. We got the Adidas Oz We Go in this black colorway for $60. Then we have this black, white, and neon green colorway on sale for $60 as well. And then we have the triple black Puma RSXs for 60 bucks. So we got the Puma Sonic RSX3s for $60. This is the black colorway. Not really feeling these ones. I like the more colorful version I showed you guys earlier at the other champs. Then we have the black and gum RSXs for $80. This is a really solid pickup. Next up are these Oreo or what I like to call the Stormtrooper Puma RSXs for 60 bucks. These are a fire colorway for 60 definitely going to consider copying these and then we also have of course one of the greatest uh, greatest selling sneakers of all time the air force one low triple black i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be buying these this fall season heck i might even grab a pair and then here's a look at the retro jordan section nothing we haven't seen before over on to nike usually this nike store can surprise me with some of the the releases that they have uh, but today was a bust here's the jordan section absolute trash on the walls we do have those mids at the top right hand corner but honestly not really feeling those checking out the uh i was gonna say the nike section at nike but we're gonna check out the lifestyle section at the nike store which features mostly the air max sneakers here's a look at that uh the ones that really caught my eye include these vapor maxes that just came out these are the vapor max 2020 fk retail price is like 285 or 265 canadian dollars those are pricey and then we have the triple black air max 90 fly ease and then we have the uh the air max 95 from the international worldwide pack i'm not really a fan of air max 95s there's maybe a couple colorways that i can get with but the air max 95 is going to be a pass for me most of the time easily one of the best nike sneakers you can buy right now the nike blazer mids they had these in two different colors this sort of like baby blue or sky blue version and then they also had this dark royal blue swoosh pair as well and last but not least we got the air max 90 in the triple black colorway for a hundred and seventy dollars all right final store of the day before we get back to the crib to show you guys today's sneaker pickups foot action fairview mall usually usually comes clutch so let's see what we can find starting off with the nike section we got some blazer mids just a simple black and white colorway cannot go wrong with these highly recommend them if you haven't yet tried these out already great alternative to say a Converse chuck taylor or an air jordan one high next up we got some black and white air force one lows from the international pack not really not really feeling these ones i feel like they could have done more this is just it was too simple for me to put it into an international pack they have a little little tag on the swoosh what is that that's it is that enough to make it like a special collection nah nah nike i need to see you step it up here besides that here is the white version of those same air force ones this time with hits of this aqua blue i mess with these a bit more but i think everyone likes a clean pair of white air force one lows next up we got the nmd r1s triple black colorway full retail price and then we have the van selection over here. A lot of vans are on sale. Usually I recommend going to like a van outlet if you're trying to find vans for a really great price. But the vans here, they had some pretty good prices. These were going for $50, which were 50% off the $100 retail price point. A lot of checkerboards going on. And that vans off the wall license plate on the booty. Not really feeling that. If they kept it like regular and not oversized, it would have been tempting. But that big old logo on the back is a bit too much for me. It looks like a stop sign almost. Next up are the 
this yellow and white pair of skate highs going for $30. We also got this pair for $30 too. These are, these are actually kind of trash in my opinion. We also got some Jordans, of course. The Jordan section coming clutch. We got the top three Air Jordan 5s, surprisingly still sitting. Uh, these are full retail price, no sale just yet, but I feel like these will eventually hit outlets. And in terms of Air Jordan 1s, we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE USA, and I'll be reviewing these on the channel very soon. Pretty solid colorway for a mid. Uh, not too crazy about it though, because I'm not American, so I'm not gonna be all patriotic when I wear these sneakers, but it's still a clean colorway regardless. And then today's most, uh, most I think, sought after sneaker right now, or most, uh, yeah, I wanna say most sought after sneaker. We got the Air Jordan 1 Mid Chicago White Heel. This is the, uh, the latest version of the Chicago Ones, and I gotta say, I messed with these. I actually uh, unboxed these and uh, I ended up buying <laughs> some of these again today to flip because this is a sneaker I feel like will be a good uh, sneaker investment. And if you don't invest in sneakers, it's also just a really dang good Air Jordan 1 mid, probably one of the best. What do you guys think of the malls? What was the best Air Jordans there or best sneakers there? Let me know in the comment section down below if you made it to this far in the video. But next up, we got some sneakers to unbox. These Yeezys were not sitting at the uh, the Full Locker at Yorkdale. The Full Locker at Yorkdale was actually closed because uh, something happened there. Um, but these right here, I received in a Full Locker bag. So that's why you guys saw the Full Locker bag. Small little sneaker meetup, and I paid uh, I paid twenty dollars above retail. I can't believe uh, I got them for such a good price. These are the Zion, I believe they're called. The Zion Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. These Yeezys, I want to say, definitely grew on me and after having them in hand, I'm super glad I added them to the collection. I'll probably do a review for these sneakers very soon, but I have a whole bunch of other sneakers to review before that, like the, uh, like the Storm Blue, not Storm Blue. I was going to say Storm Blue Lows, but Royal Blue or Hyper Royal Lows, along with like the Chicago white heel mid ones. So at Fairview we had these sitting. These, oh, I was really excited to grab these. These actually released while I was on a small little vacation. So I had no access to any sneaker stores, but they had them still sitting. And I knew that this was going to be a must cop for me when it comes to Retro Jordans this year. These are also still sitting. So if you guys want these, I'll leave links down below. And if they're in your local retailer, call them, give them a call, ask if they have your size. And these right here, I actually haven't even taken out of the box yet so we're gonna get my real uh, raw first impression let's let's get into it right now Ooh, all right we got some elephant print paper right here very cool this is a special edition release regular paper and here it goes oh that smells good oh my gosh Jordan 3s have a really good smell not quite as good as Jordan 1s before my uh, my, my sniffing sneaker heads out there. Y'all know Jordan 3s are pretty damn fire. Anyways, these right here are the, I believe they're called the Denim 3s. Uh, the, the, the label on the box says White Fire Red 3s. I actually forget the exact name for these. They use like Japanese denim on these sneakers and these actually got a special release in Japan that has uh, Nike Air, I believe, uh, in Katakana or Japanese like text on the back. I would love those. But this pair right here has the Nike Air branding with the uh, translucent Jumpman. So it's one of the first times I think we've actually seen both of the logos on the heel at the exact same time. So refreshing and I like what they did. It's, it's cool. You know, I like it. I like it. Anyways, let's get to the next Air Jordan sneaker pickup, which hurt my soul a lot when I saw them sitting on the shelves. So for this release, I ended up buying two pairs. I just wanted the one at first and then I realized they had other sizes still available. So I was like, let's help ease the pain and pick up two. So I got one size 10, one size 10.5. And this is a sneaker I paid over like $130, $140 over retail because I made the mistake of buying them on StockX during this certain period right now where shipping is very slow uh, for StockX. StockX, you can have three weeks to a month uh, processing and it literally took a full month for my shoes from StockX to arrive because they came from Europe and they had to get verified in Chicago, I think, or wherever they do the verification is Michigan. And uh, yeah, so anyways, two pairs of these right here. This is a sneaker I will be reviewing on this channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. These are the Chicago Air Jordan 1 Mid uh, White Heels. This is the latest version of the Jordan 1 Mid. A lot of people are excited about these. 
I honestly am a huge, huge fan of these. I did unbox my StockX pair a while ago. If you guys want to see that video, check it out. I got a other few Air Jordans to show you guys in that haul. These right here, I already talked about them on the channel and I gave you guys my first impression, uh, but just a quick little wrap up. My first initial thoughts on these sneakers is uh, they are a fantastic alternative to the very, very expensive Air Jordan 1 High Chicago. <sighs> I'm, I'm happy these came out this year. If, if you didn't have the Chicago ones already, you're still probably gonna want the, the real Chicago ones after you get after you get these. But if you were just maybe a new sneaker head or you just wanted that sneaker to complete that look, you know, have that certain aesthetic, that certain outfit that you wanted to do with the ones, but you can't because resale's too high, this is a great alternative. Uh, but the fact that I paid basically double retail for the first pair and then I got the other twos for retail, it just, it just stung a little bit. It stung. I really didn't have to pay double retail if the shoe, if I had known the shoe was going to take a full month to get to me. The whole point of me buying it on StockX was to get the review early to you guys. But then when it takes a month to get here, not much of a point of buying the shoe early to review. With that said, I do have a very special Air Jordan 1 mid to unbox on the second channel. So if you guys want to check it out, I actually did buy these on StockX as well. This is a StockX Air Jordan 1 mid pickup. This is personally my favorite Air Jordan 1 mid of the year. So if you guys want to see the unboxing of these, my first impression for these sneakers, make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll leave a link down below or a card will pop up right now. If you guys ever want to hang out and chill with me and my girlfriend i stream on twitch twitch.tv slash sneaker talksia and my girlfriend natty does too twitch.tv slash caffeine underscore i'll leave a link down below and we'll be doing a ps4 giveaway very soon but yeah that's it let me know what your favorite sneakers were in today's video i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out